guys, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights and I'm here today with an extremely exciting unboxing. I have finally gotten my Craftably orders. These are pre-orders. Um, so you've probably been seeing these purple tubes everywhere around the internet or everywhere on YouTube, especially in Diamond Tube. Um, there's just, um, everybody's getting their pre-orders, so excited about them. So back in March, Craftably released a whole bunch of pre-orders and um, they were uh, originally going to be here mid-June, but you know, shipping has become a nightmare. <laughs> um, lots of things got delayed shipping this year um, and got impacted by various things. So they are now here. I got all four of them. These are all Jasmine Beckett Griffiths. <laughs> so this is especially exciting because right now I am doing a Jasmine Beckett Griffith along with Shay from Crafting with Shay. Um, so these are the um, paintings that I was actually, one of them I was originally planning to do for the event. It wasn't here on time, but I definitely think I will be able to get to it. Um, by the end of this month. So, of course, um, there is one, the one that I have been wanting to do, let me see if I can find it, is this one. <laughs> and this one has been seen um, on so many unboxings. I've been so excited for it. So, um, I just thought because some of these have been unboxed quite frequently, um, I will just kind of try to go through these with you guys um, one by one. I have um, I have Faces of Fairy 177, um, The Language of Flowers 5, I have Sweet Isabella, and also Releasing Fireflies. So I'm so excited. I've wanted this one releasing fireflies for, for pretty much since I knew about craftably, I just, um, well, I can get into it when we get to the painting, but, um, let's look at these. So all four of them, I guess are version 4.0 because they do come. So if you're familiar at all with craftably's website before, they did have sweet Isabella and releasing fireflies available on their site before the pre-orders. However, they did make some adjustments, I believe, um, at least with sweet Isabella. I know they made it a larger painting before it was a smaller painting. Um, now, um, I don't know if they've made any changes to releasing fireflies, but I did see in some of the images that, you know, it, it might look a little different. I don't know. I'd have to actually probably contact them to find out if there is anything different with the 4.0 version kit of releasing fireflies. But let's get into these. So, of course, you can tell that they come in these plastic wraps to basically protect these beautiful artist tubes or telescope tubes, I think is something to call. So let's pull this out. And if you don't like this plastic wrap, I apologize. But what's wrong with you? <laughs> I laughed really hard. I, I heard uh, Lindsay from Life with Lindsay one time say that, and I laughed so hard because I was like, oh, that's so true. <laughs> if you don't like that crinkled plastic sound. So, let's get in this. This is our toolkit. Oh, it's such a nice purple, like, burlap or really nice quality bag. And it's so much bigger than, I feel like, a normal toolkit. So, let's look at this. So, we've got a resealable bag with, I think, the basic toolkit, which is tweezers, a double heart or double head pen, a pen grip, a tray, and a glue pad. So you can see that. It looks like there are some multi-placers in here. Ah. Okay. So we've got a four and a seven with our wax squishy and tray. And then 
this is what the tweezers look like with the plastic to keep them from, I think basically ripping through <laughs> the bag. And then we have our pen and we actually have another four placer in here that's already attached to this pen. So the things right there that you need to get started. We then have wax that comes in these cute little containers. We have a cover minder. So this is an exciting thing that I found out that they have with the releases is that they're coming with a random cover minder. And this one's cute. Look at this heart. It's like a mosaic heart. And they've got a pretty nice sized magnet on that in the little case. Let's see what else we've got in here. So we get some washi and I got two rolls of this yellow washi in this painting and then another bag of the wax. So that is a pretty full um, kit. And you guys, I think it's really fun and kind of exciting that they are they include random washi and a cover minder because you just don't know what you're gonna get and it's gonna be different from any unboxings of anybody else that you see. So let's look at this painting. So this one is the Faces of Fairy. I think it's a really neat one. This what it says if you're new for version 4.0 Oh, kits. Um, all of the different things. I think it's really neat too that they plant a tree. So it's kind of cool that, like, hey, this this order, four trees planted. And um, I love this little note at the bottom where they say, ABs aren't available for Red Dragon Queen. They only allowed green at the time, looked terrible. <laughs> I think that's what's so neat about Craftably is they're just so open and transparent and um, involved with the community and, you know, it's neat. So, cover minder and washi tape and then there's instructions. Um, we've got our sticker that you can put in your journal. She's so cute, isn't she? And then these large stickers. Um, that you can place on your baggies, containers, whatever you'd like. So um, these are just very nicely printed, very large. Um, let's look at the symbols. <laughs> this one, guys, I hate the symbol. I really do, but I have to get over it because um, it's a common one. I think I say that in every time I see it, but it continues to there and I don't think it's going anywhere. <laughs> uh, so let's look at this cute little one. This is by far the smallest one that I got. It's soft, definitely a soft. You can see that it has a doubled edge. And then this is taped. Let's see if I can get it to come off easily. I don't want to like cut the canvas, but I just wanted to kind of get a corner <laughs> to pull this tape off so we can get in the canvas. Oh, it's stuck on my hand. Okay. So let's look at her. Oh, she's cute. <laughs> Um, I think these, this size, this 12 by 12 size is really like a fun diamond painting size. Um, they, the last one that I did of theirs, actually I thought rendered really well. So I'm excited to see how this one renders. And um, if you can tell, she's holding a pink ribbon. And I do believe this is like a breast cancer Um pink ribbon, which I think was really neat. And it also did draw me to this painting. Um, if you're unaware, I've spoken on my channel before. Um, we, um, I, I lost my sister-in-law to um, 
breast cancer in 2014. And so I do think breast cancer awareness and um, things like that are just really important. And so I, when I saw this one, I thought that was really neat. There are 38 colors and this one is square. So let's look at these drills. I don't know if there were any special drills in here. I don't believe so. But I think, oh no, there is actually an AB. There's two ABs right here. You can tell there's a white square AB and a blue. In an effort to save time, since I'm going through four kids, I'm not gonna like pull them out each individually. But um, yeah, it looks like you can tell it right here on the side that these, oh no, there's three ABs. So there is, Oh, you can see it better right here. So there is a light yellow AB, a white AB, and a blue AB. That's going to be pretty. So let's actually look and see where those will be. The blue is going to be the up arrow. So it's going to be up here in her wings. It'll be in her eyes. The white, it's going to be down here in her stockings, the blue. The white is going to be... Um, right here in some of the flowers, the flowers, the stars, I think. And you can kind of see these little white dots all over are accented. Um, there's some on her nose, there's some in her eyes, and um, some in her hair. And then the yellow, it looks like accents these little starbursts that have the Y and then, or that have the white AB, and then there is some of that in her hair. So that's gonna be cute. It'll be fun. I'm I'm excited to try um, craftably squares. I've heard really good things about them, and these all look pretty really good actually. I don't really even see any that like have tags on them or. I mean, even these dark colors look pretty good. So I'm excited for that. Okay, let's move on to. The next painting okay so we have got the language of flowers five so I think based on it being called the language of flowers five I think there must be the language of flowers one two three four and five um, I'm curious I need to go look those up and see them <laughs> So we've got our toolkit. I won't bother you with showing you the same things, but this is one of the washies that I got. Oh, I think I actually got matching washies again. So these are the washies that I got with this painting. And then this, oh, is the cover minder. That is so cute. Look at that. Oh, it's like a little sparkly kiss, I guess, would you say? Or kind of, I was thinking it looks kind of like a ghost, but that is super cute with, it's got four drills on it, two crystal, and then it's eyes. That is super cute. So we will put that away. Let's look at the painting. So again, there is the thing that you get in your new kit, or in these new 4.0 kits, we have our stickers. So it does appear there are 45 colors. There are three ABs, and then this LZ is a crystal. So we'll have to look at that. That is, just looking at the symbols. Very nice. I don't see the one I hate, so yes, bonus. <laughs> I also don't really like this one either, but like I said, guys, they're common. <laughs> and then was there a, uh, I don't see like a star. Oh no, it fell down. Okay. Here is the sticker that you can put in your log book with your start and finish date. So it's a 20 by 28 round.
This one is definitely a larger painting. Oh, the canvas is shimmery. I don't think I noticed that with the last one, but this one is very, very shimmery. Um, and so, um, I don't think I said last time, but these are poured glue kits. You do know, um, usually from the clear cover. And if you can see any of these wrinkles and lines, those will flatten out. These are just in the plastic covering. It's not going to affect your painting at all. Oh my goodness, she is so pretty and so vibrant and pink. Let me roll her. You can also roll these canvases backwards. Um, this cord glue is very um, forgiving and can it will definitely flatten out. Um, even without much, much help, it just seems to flatten out. Oh, look at this painting. It's so pretty. <laughs> How I have to do say that this kind of actually looks a lot like my cousin. Uh, um, for some reason, something about this picture just really reminded me of my cousin. And I just love the vibrant colors in this. Oh, so pretty. Okay, let's look at these drills. Like I said, I'm not going to pull them out just because of time reasons, but already you can kind of see with these colors. Oh, so pretty. Ooh, there's that pretty, there's a part of that pretty pink. Got 600 and 602 and 150. It's gonna be so pretty. So, show you those. We have got our ABs, a white. A light green and a, looks like a 904 kind of green. Maybe. Pretty. ABs and then this pretty yellow rhinestone. Can you see that? Oh, that's going to be pretty. So let's look and see. The rhinestone is going to be in the flowers. I can already tell. Um, you can see. Also, another thing to look at, the simple clarity. These look very clear. Um, so, yeah, you can kind of see in these flowers. There's gonna, they're going to be all through all these giant pink flowers. And then it looks like the green is going to be in these leaves that all come around and then in her eyes. And the lighter yellow is going to be in her eyes and also in some of these lighter areas of the flowers. And then the white is going to be in the lightest, lightest parts of um, the eyes or the flowers. And there's, it looks like some up here in the water drops. So that's going to be really pretty on this painting. It is just so pretty. Wow, that's exciting. <laughs> I'm really excited. I'm like just so tempted to just start working on this one right away because really this was the one that I really wanted to do for the event. So I just might. <laughs> Okay, now we have Sweet Isabella, and this one, let's look at it, we've got our toolkit here, and we will see, so, oh, we've got different washi tapes this time, so there is a purple, and they're both polka dotted though, cute, purple and red, and... Let's see what cover minder we got here. Oh, another heart. This one looks like a tie-dye heart to me. Let's see. Oh, and it's sparkly. 
don't know, can you see that? How it is sparkly? That's pretty. Again, I really like when they have these kind of larger magnets. It's very helpful. <laughs> so that is nice. Now let's get this painting out. So we have got our sticker sheets. Our nice sticker. Isn't she so cute? 20 by 28 in round. Our new pictures again. And then this is the key. There are 56 colors. Looks like three ABs and one crystal. Again, because the LZ is a crystal. And I'm assuming this means that it's a crystal 601. <laughs> Just going by that it's six and the 601 right and um i'm thinking a purple a yellow and a white ab that'll be pretty oh, wow 56 colors let's look at this <laughs> so much stuff. Let's get it out of the way when they have not so much space. So, this. Right? Nope, I was doing that the right way. So, we have a guy. A lovely sweet Isabella. Oh, so, this is kind of a little bit smashed, but like I said, this is a very, like, poor glue is very forgiving. And it will flatten a lot of times this kind of stuff that happens to your canvas just it just needs to lay flat for a bit you can always lay it flat some people lay it like between mattresses so it stays flat some people put between books you know if I have a really stubborn crease in canvas I will use my steamer on them and it's always been fine um, and they flatten out just fine so Wow, her face has so much detail. And this flower is gorgeous. I'm really excited about it. So let's look at these rows. I'll put that up there for just a minute so we can look at them. And these rows look so nice. Oh, there is the rhinestone. That's gotta be 601. And then we've got a white AB, a yellow AB, and a purple AB. Can't really see those ones very good, so again, I'll just pull them out real quick. So we've got our white AB, our yellow, and our purple. That will be pretty. And then in case you're wondering about the rhinestone right there. So let's look at this and find where those ABs go. So her, if you can see on her wings, her rainbow, her, her rainbow, her butterfly wings, it's going to be all these white parts of, is this a monarch butterfly? basically butterfly wings, so pretty. They're going to be in this butterfly as well that's up on her head. And then in her um, sugar skull makeup face. And let's see, so there's the downward, the downward arrow is the yellow AB. And that's going to be in this flower I don't really see it anywhere else. Pretty much just in this flower, this main big flower. The purple is the, I call it the nail. No, it looks, it looks like a, no, can you see that? <laughs> 
a sideways nail. <laughs> and that is going to be in her hair in the accents. Just a little bits of it. Yeah, just pretty much in her hair in the lightest parts. And then the crystal is going to be let's look and see in her eyes are going to be crystal and then I'm trying to see if it's anywhere else I just see it in her eyes oh and then a little bit right here in her hair so that'll be neat that's interesting. She'll have pink crystals in her eyes. That's kind of, that's kind of cool. Um, so, wow. And 56 colors. This one will be really pretty. And I really do like that they put this one in the larger format because I do think it's so pretty. It, it just affords you more details when you go to the larger size. So that is Sweet Isabella. Okay, we have made it to the very last painting, which is Releasing Fireflies. Let's look at the toolkit and see what we got. You know, these would be probably really neat to carry some of your diamond painting supplies if you were going like on vacation. I've done that before and these are even like of a bigger pouch and it can just hold your diamond painting supplies. So, oh, <laughs> I got another little cute um, gum uh, gumdrop, I guess. So cute. I really like this one um, with that shimmery. And then the washi that I got is this blue and, oh, it's a little Santa Claus. That's cute. <laughs> is he playing like, oh, he's grabbing a bag for a minute. I thought he might be playing tennis, but that's not a tennis racket. Very cute. So, let's get into this painting that I have long awaited getting. This was the longest tube, so I'm thinking that this is the largest painting, but we will see. To, yep, so this one is 24 by 32, and it is a round. And there are 50 colors. So it looks like there are no ABs in this kit, but that is no worries because I will find some and put some in it. <laughs> if you know anything about my channel, I love adding ABs and crystals and anything I can find to kits. So. If I can bling them up, I will. Um, Get into this. And I apologize if you've made it this far in the video for the lighting. It's just when I'm able to film this and my kiddos were not wanting to go to bed tonight. Say some nights are just funny like that. Like, just don't know how you're not so tired. To... <laughs> but let's look at this painting. So, okay. I just think there's something so fun and mysterious and haunting about this painting. I've got to move all of the things out of the way. I wonder if I can even, yeah, what am I doing having it at such a bad angle to see the whole image? So let me flip this. Okay, 
so here we have there is something that i just love about lily pads like the bayou like <laughs> marsh stuff it's just so neat and i think with the firefly this gives us such a good opportunity to have some fun with it and you know what there is a crystal in here so it looks like it just wasn't at the end i can now see that there is a crystal on here so I'm checking. Oh, and there is an AB. There is an AB. It just wasn't at the very end. I got ahead of myself. So there is one AB, another AB, three ABs, and then the crystal. So yeah, three ABs and a crystal. This does not want to stay um, up. We'll see if we can get it. So here are our drills. Them. And um, on right here is the white AB. And then I can see the crystals right here. It's going to be gold. Let me open this up so we can find those ABs. If I can find how to open this. This video is going to be so long. But I figured a lot of these videos are out, and so you can just skip around to what paintings you want to see. So there's the green one. And... A yellow one. A white one. The crystals. So these are our ABs and crystals. And where we're going to see those, it looks like you're going to get crystals obviously down in here. Um, so these are going to be kind of packed the crystals, then the ABs down to the white ABs. So that should be very interesting with the fireflies coming up. It looks like in where they go up, even up to the top, there is going to be, um, there is going to be crystals and then even some in up here in her eyes. The, um, let's see, where is this AB? The yellow AB, it looks like it's just, they're, they're really interspersed. The white, the yellow, and the crystal are very interspersed in these fireflies and, um, you know, around and then in her eyes. And it looks like the green one is going to be in some of these lighter spots on the lily pads. And yeah, I think it's just the lily pods and then there's some in her eyes. So I think this should be really neat. <laughs> now I do have to say there's one thing that I do have to um, say as far as the Craftably paintings go. And that's what I wanted to look at is in her hair right here. Um, I don't know how I feel about this, the hair being accented with blues blue gradients. So for me, you know, when you, when you see hair and it's black, um, you might in some lighting get some blues, but I don't really feel like, let's, let's see what it's going to be accented by. Um, that this blue should be in her hair. Um, so I guess basically what, so there we've got these two blues in her hair and I don't know that that is very true to the original image. Um, let's see, let's look at it. I mean, I guess there is the blue, but I just don't think that it's that blue. So I feel like, 
and parts of her hair, I want it to be a more muted blue, not such a bright blue, if that makes sense. Um, but that's definitely something that I will, I guess, look at when I'm working on this one, when I get to it, we'll see. So um, overall though, I'm really happy with these improvements that Craftably has made. It's really, that's really neat. It's a surprise to get the cover minder. I mean, and washi tapes, you just don't know what you're going to get. Their canvases um, really feel nice and soft and they're a little light, a little thin, but they, they are soft and sparkly and shiny. And I'm really excited to see how some of these render and turn out. So um, if you like this video, give it a like, um, subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!